Dear viewers, immigration rules are frequently changing which is very important for migrant community and all of us. Why won't the world tackle the refugee crisis? Are the High Court judges under pressure by government policy? How deporting people silently? Why immigration detention center misbehaves with detainees? Is the immigration enforcement used by government lawfully? How immigrants are victim of domestic violence? What will be the UK relationship with the European Union after Brexit? Fear spreads. Protests across the world. We should know the reality. I try to collect all the latest immigration news regularly. If you like this video please stay with us to follow my Facebook page and YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comments, subscribe and share with your friends. Let's go to the news. New law will force hospitals to charge foreign patients for non-urgent care. The UK government is to press ahead with plans to make it a legal requirement for NHS hospitals to charge foreign visitors and migrants up front for any non-urgent care received as part of its crackdown. <laughs> Asylum seekers at risk in county. A Red Cross worker has warned hundreds of failed asylum seekers in Lancashire face being driven into a life of crime if their applications are rejected by the government. Wanda Fiery, who works with migrants in the county, says the number of destitution cases is now rising as many exhaust the appeals system and are refused residence in the UK. Immigration detention is inhumane, costly and unnecessary. We are committed to ending it in the middle of a refugee crisis, which is too often framed by divisive, hate-fueled debate, it's easy to forget what happens to asylum seekers once they arrive in the UK. Often those fleeing abuse, torture and war, including families with children, are detained and incarcerated. The UK in fact operates one of the most draconian systems. In France, migrants can be detained for a maximum of 45 days. In the UK, unlike any other country in Europe, has no limit. Those, often already traumatized can be detained for months, or even years, often without hope and any idea when their incarceration will end. Grenfell Fire, I was too afraid because I'm undocumented. There have been persistent claims that the Grenfell Tower death toll is higher than official estimates because there were undocumented residents living there. One such woman explains why she is too afraid to come forward to the authorities. Ria is from the Philippines and lived on the 21st floor of the high-rise tower, with her friend Helen and her 12-year-old daughter. But, unlike Helen, 40-year-old Ria wasn't a registered tenant, having lost her legal right to remain in the UK in 2012. Having been caught up in the FIAR on 14 June, she is now homeless and afraid to identify herself to immigration officials. I thought maybe they'd lock me up, she says. Police say about 80 people are currently thought to be dead, but charities and volunteers believe many unregistered people could have been killed. They also say they have been in touch with other survivors like Ria who are afraid to get help. Home Office pays out £1.8 million to people detained unlawfully. Diane Abbott says large sum the result of incoherent and inhumane immigration detention system. The Shadow Home Secretary has criticized new figures which show the Home Office paid out £1.8 million last year in 32 cases of unlawful detention, saying the immigration removals system is incoherent and inhumane. Illegal construction workers arrested in graves and raid. Four men have been arrested after a raid by UK border agency officials in Gravesend. The construction workers, all Indian, were detained this morning after checks found they had overstayed their visas. Three of the men, aged 30, 32, and 36, 
are being held in custody pending their removal from the UK. Another, aged 28, must report regularly to the Home Office while his case is dealt with. What it takes to make Theresa May cry. Sasha Simic says there's plenty that May could have cried about but didn't. Keith Fliss suggests she should follow Spinoza's injunction, and Caroline Curtin says May was a poor Home Secretary and is now floundering Prime Minister. The PM, Theresa May says she shed a little tear over election exit poll. The Guardian.com, 13 July, shed no tears for the 1,182,954 forced to survive on food banks. She shed no tears for nurses, firefighters and other public sector employees struggling to survive on a 1% pay cap and insists there will be no pay rise for them. She shed no tears for the 2,380 people who died between 2011 and 2014 shortly after being declared able to work and thrown off benefits as part of a government austerity agenda. She shed no tears for the 1,000 unaccompanied children living in the squalor of the Calais refugee camp. Indeed, she has done her utmost to block the Dobbs Amendment which tried get more children safely into the UK. She shed no tears for the victims of the Grenfell Tower fire, a product of deregulation in accommodation. She shed no tears for the 5,000 desperate refugees who drowned trying to cross the Mediterranean last year and the 2,150 who have drowned doing the same this year. She shed no tears for the 10,000 Yemeni civilians killed by British bombs dropped by Saudi Arabia. Britain has sold £3.3 billion in arms to the Saudis over the last three years. The Prime Minister has personally intervened in those ongoing sales. She shed no tears for the families whose loved ones have dementia, her 2017 manifesto wanted to tax them. She sheds no tears for immigrants, scapegoated and vilified for every conceivable social problem and as Home Secretary sent around billboard vans telling illegal immigrants to go home or face arrest. I'm sentenced to die alone, torture victim forced to watch his son grow up on Skype due to UK immigration policy. David Lord Kipponids is a British citizen but is unable to bring his family from Georgia. A man who fled torture in his home country 17 years ago has spoken out about the pain of not being able to witness his son grow up due to UK immigration policy. It's very difficult to see your son grow up on Skype, David Lord Kipponids told The Independent. Psychologically, I am arrested. It's like the government has sentenced me to die alone without family in a different country. Tony Blair says European Union leaders could be willing to change free movement rules to stop Brexit. <laughs> 2,321 Tier 2 UK visa certificates of sponsorship available for allocation in July by employers with a Tier 2 sponsorship license. Following the latest Tier 2 visa allocation meeting, the number of certificates of sponsorship CAS, available for July 2017 stands at 2,321, according to UK visas and immigration data. Illegal immigrants are able to enter Britain unchallenged because there are no checks at almost half of small ports in the east of England, a damning report has found. Brexit People voted leave over fears of 80 million Turks coming to live in their village, says Vince Cable. Many people voted for Brexit because they were fooled into a fear of 80 million Turks coming to live in their village, Vince Cable has said. The likely next Liberal Democrat leader pointed to the notorious claim by the Leave campaign that Turkey was poised to join the EU as a key reason for the result. The anti-immigration party trying to recruit immigrants. Although their manifesto calls for a near-total halt to immigration, the far-right political party Britain First is now actively trying to appeal to Polish immigrants. UK should accept WTO tariffs to gain US-style immigration system, says Weatherspoon's founder. 
Britain should be willing to accept a few tariffs under the World Trade Organization WTO, rules in order to regain control of its borders and establish a new points-based immigration system akin to the US, the chairman of British pub chain J.D. Weatherspoon has said. Three British Sikhs sentenced to prison in immigration scam case. Cousins Daljit Kapoor and Harmit Kapoor, and Devinder Chawla, all three in their 40s, had admitted conspiring to help foreigners get into the country illegally and were sentenced last week at the Inner London Crown Court. Three British Sikhs have been jailed for a total of 19 years for helping about 70 illegal immigrants sneak into the UK by misusing passports in a £600,000 scam. EU citizen confronts Theresa May telling her, I'm about to get deported. Romanian passport holder approaches Prime Minister at exclusive summer party. An EU citizen has confronted Theresa May at an exclusive party, saying, I'm about to get deported. Journalist Nimrod Kamer filmed himself approaching the Prime Minister and asking for a photograph with her at a summer event hosted by Spectator magazine. Mr. Kamer told Mrs. May, I'm a Romanian passport holder. I'm about to get deported. Mrs. May replied, No you're not. The Prime Minister has proposed that all 3 million EU citizens living in Britain will have to apply for inclusion on the Settled Status Register if they wish to stay in the UK after Brexit. Thank you for stay with me. See you in the next video.